because again, I partnered up with Walgreens and their beauty unfiltered campaign that if you saw my first video, you guys already know that my 10 year anniversary is coming up with my husband. I know that sounds insane, 10 years. And I haven't been married for 10 years. I've been married for three, but we've been together for almost 10, which I don't know, it feels like a lot, but also it feels like nothing because it doesn't feel like we've been together that long. But I've just been thinking a lot about our marriage and I get really emotional thinking about our wedding. So I talked a lot about my wedding day on my first video and I'm gonna leave a link for it for you guys in the description box. But I wanted to recreate my wedding day makeup and today I'm gonna be doing it in a special way because I'm gonna be doing it in a reverse tutorial for you guys. And my wedding day makeup, I actually practiced it, I don't know, maybe like 10 times. And I ended up just doing it kind of what I thought I was most comfortable with. But my wedding makeup, I felt so beautiful and so happy and so confident. And I think that's really what's most important, not only during your wedding, but in general, that whatever you do, you just feel like yourself and you just feel beautiful. So I'm gonna be talking about mine and how mine was so special to me. So I'm gonna be using 100% Walgreens products. But the cool thing with Walgreens is that you can really go like as high or as low as you want. And there's so many options so that you could do whatever you want for your special day. It doesn't have to be a wedding day. It could just literally be you just going out, going to school, going to your office, going wherever. And you can just do your makeup as little or as much as you want. Even if it's just like wearing sunscreen, if that's what makes you feel beautiful, that's awesome. I mean, I feel like it's really cool when you could just go to a place that understands that and understands your needs for different things. And today with my makeup, for a wedding makeup, I think it's really hard because you just want to be kind of timeless. You just, at least for me, I just wanted my pictures to be something that I could look back at after years and feel like, well, I did look like myself. And honestly, you guys, I really did feel like I accomplished that. And I was just so incredibly happy that day. That's literally, I know it sounds like so cliche, but it's just one of the happiest days of my life. But anyway, let's get started with this in a reverse tutorial. Remember to check out the description box if you wanna see the links to the products, which you can find at your local Walgreens. So yeah, let's get started. So since we're gonna be doing this in reverse, I'm kinda gonna be deconstructing my makeup. And the very last thing I did was apply my mascara. And I wanted something really good that would give me lots and lots of volume. And here I'm using the CoverGirl Kitty cat eye and I'm applying it on my top and bottom lashes because I really wanted my lashes to just look fabulous. Next up are my lips and I went with the Soap and Glory Pillow Plum and I really wanted something that was very light that I wasn't gonna have to be retouching a lot and the great thing about this is that it made my lips look even plumper so just really nice and fabulous and I absolutely loved it. So I wanted my eyes to be a little bit smoky and that's why I'm adding this Revlon Colorstay Eyeliner just on my top lashes and I'm really smoking it out. I didn't want it to be just too dark so I'm really making it smoky but just not like a really harsh black line. So for my actual shadows I wanted something that would translate really well from day to night and I decided to just go for this kind of shimmery brown smoky eye and the shape I did was rounded but it just kind of winged out a little tiny bit in the corner just to kind of give my eye a little bit of a sexy shape but not too much and I actually decided to line my entire eye including the inner rim I wasn't sure if I wanted to do that but I did go for it but I decided to use brown instead of black just so that it wouldn't be so harsh and for this right now I'm using the CoverGirl Perfect Blend Eye Pencil. For the shadows, I just wanted something that was really nice and brown and I picked up this palette that's from CoverGirl and it's called True Naked Goldens. Honestly though, since it was a makeup that I was gonna be wearing all day, the most important thing was to set my shadows and that's why the very first product I applied on my eye was the Revlon Colorstay Cream Eyeshadow. A cream product just really helped me set my makeup and not make me have to worry for the rest of the day. I also wanted a really soft glow on my cheek and for that I wore the Revlon Insta Blush. As always, I went with a really pink color because that's just what I love and that's what I wear all the time. Also, of course, I need tons and tons of bronzer all over my face because I mean, that potato face, I did not want it for my pictures for the rest of my life. <laughs> and for my brows, I really try to follow my regular brow shape, which was a little bit different back then. I think it was just a little bit thinner, but I just try to do what I usually did because I feel like brows really change your face. And again, I just want it to look normal. Since I definitely want it to be photo ready, I used Revlon Photo Ready Powder to set everything. And here I'm using my trusty L'Oreal True Match Concealer to just just make sure my face looked flawless. And it's amazing because here you can really see the difference when I'm wearing my concealer and now that I'm not wearing it, oh my god, concealer is seriously necessary. For foundation, I wanted something that was pretty full coverage, so I went with the number seven Lift and Illuminate foundation because I also wanted that kind of healthy glow. I was just so happy with this foundation. Of course, you always 
just need to prep your skin, especially if it's gonna be a long day like your wedding day. So here I'm using my number seven day cream to just prep my face and get it going for a long day of happiness. All right guys, so here I am now with no makeup. I really hope you enjoyed this reverse tutorial. And I think something that's really important to tell you is that even though on my wedding day, I decided to wear a little bit of glam, I still seriously feel so confident and so happy and so beautiful without it. I feel perfectly fine just going in front of a camera and I feel like without makeup, I still feel great. I still feel beautiful. And what's really important is for you guys to just do whatever makes you feel happy and whatever makes you feel beautiful. And that's really one of the things that made me fall in love with makeup because I could just see how people would act so differently by just adding maybe a little bit of blush and it would be so different from person to person. Maybe for one person it was blush, but for another one it was mascara. So it's so interesting. And I would really like to know what it's like for you. What makes you feel beautiful? What makes you feel confident? What just makes you think like, I can take on the day. I could just be whatever I want. And what makes you think, yes, I feel incredible and I feel so happy. And I really can't wait to read your comments about it. But yeah, don't forget to check out the description box because I'm gonna list all the products I used there for you guys. And so you can just go check them out also at your local Walgreens. You will have so much fun there just browsing and seeing whatever products you like that are gonna make you feel absolutely beautiful. But yeah guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!